Hey you guys, it is Carol, or they call me Miss Kelly, if you're going by my name. I just want to start by saying I do not own the rights to this music, this uh, positive home healing music on YouTube. Um, 528 uh, frequency, super positive energy for your soul and home, healing frequency music uh, by Woke Nation on YouTube. Okay, so I just wanted to hop on really quickly because I had time to put together my new products that I will be introducing into my Etsy shop probably later on today or by tomorrow. So the first one that I did was, I posted about a healing bath not too long ago. So I posted about a healing bath not too long ago and the recipe for the healing bath was three parts rosemary, two parts lavender, two parts rose, one part peppermint, and one part cinnamon. Now, this is going to go into your bathtub and is meant to be healing and soothing. You can use any combination of things that you may have. I used what I had here in my inventory. So you could use a mix of dried flowers. You finished eating? Oh, you ate all the broccoli? No. No. Trinity ate the broccoli. Okay. You all done? Uh -huh. What you want? Dessert? Okay, go ask Trinity to get you something. Here, put this bowl in the sink. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so, excuse me, uh, my son. So you can use a combination of any herbs or oils or flowers that you may have uh, at home. Now, all of my ingredients that I use are intentionally used for my products. He finished his food. Can you get him um, a dessert, please? Uh, intentionally used for my products. So what I use for my products, I already have those items set aside in my inventory. Uh, to use when I want to create something new. So what I did was, and this was my healing bath, and I use glass jars because they preserve the ingredients better. And I'll open it up so you can see. And I followed the, the recipe, rosemary, lavender, rose, peppermint, and cinnamon. And I used, again, a combination of dried herbs, flowers, and... Uh, essential oils. So here is what it looks like. Okay. Oops. And I include all petals. In there. Try not to spill it. Okay. So in here, I have three parts rosemary oil, essential oil. So three parts rosemary essential oil, two parts lavender oil, two parts rose. For the rose, I have dried rose petals that I have been saving. These have been cleaned when they were fresh and they were set out in a vase to naturally dry on their own. And then I deadhead the roses when they are completely dry. Deadheading mean I cut the ends of the, uh, I cut the rose buds off of the rose stems after they dry off. Now I wait until they're completely dry because I prefer to use dried flowers and dried herbs inside of my uh, products because they last longer. If you use fresh, fresh spoils eventually. But if you use dried, they last a lot longer and it's more natural. And I don't have to use any preservatives to prolong the shelf life. So in here, I put three parts rosemary, one, three parts rosemary oil, 
two parts lavender oil, two parts rose, so about one whole rosebud, one full rosebud. I take all the petals off and I like to leave them whole because when I pour this whole thing out into my bath water, I want to see whole rose petals floating in my bath water. Uh, one part peppermint oil and one part cinnamon and I just use brown cinnamon. Okay, And this is the cinnamon I use for all my products, specifically for my products. It's like special. Right? And cinnamon. Include all that in a jar and then I fill it up with some Himalayan pink salt. Pretty organic. And some Epsom salt. For soaking and muscle soreness. And I just filled that up. Put everything on top of the oils, the herbs, and the flowers. Put the lid on top, shake it up. And here is your healing bath bath soak. Right, if you want to know why it's a called a healing bath, it is because of all of the uh, oils that are inside of it, the essential oils, and because of the uh, flowers and the salt. They all have healing properties to them. Rosemary is good for cleansing, concentration, love, memory, sleep. Lavender is good for peace, joy, spirituality, sleep, beauty, and dreaming. Rose, red roses, what do they represent? When do you get them? For Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, roses show love or passion, uh, protection. They help with female intuition, health, luck, wish fulfillment, prophetic dreams, and psychic powers. Peppermint, peppermint is all around good, mentally, spiritually. It uh, brings the energy of prosperity, abundance, consecration, justice, good fortune, cleansing, and psychic awareness. So if you're feeling like cloudy headed, if you are low on abundance or prosperity, if you want to attract these things, get some peppermint or some peppermint oil. If you need peppermint oil, contact me, I got you, okay? And also cinnamon, cinnamon, uh, Represents purification, prosperity, love, spirituality, money, luck, success, psychic power. Cinnamon is also good for protection, okay? That spicy uh, herb. So the healing bath, bath salt will be available. This is a four ounce jar. Okay. I can't wait to use this. All right, so the next thing I did was my lavender and eucalyptus bath salt. I reformulated it and now it's more eucalyptus based instead of using lavender infused sunflower oil. I've now incorporated my uh, eucalyptus infused sunflower oil. So this is my infused oil that I make from scratch from eucalyptus uh, uh, leaves. <laughs> Inside here is Epsom salt, coarse uh, sea salt, dried lavender flowers to provide extra exfoliation and peace, joy, spirituality, beauty, sleep and dreaming and uh, eucalyptus essential oil. Eucalyptus essential oil and eucalyptus period just provides clarity, concentration and focus. So it's great for meditation. And when you pour this in your bath, the whole bathroom will be like a spa experience. It'll clear you right up too. So if you have uh, congestion or anything like that, eucalyptus and lavender bath salt. This will also be available in my Etsy shop. And I do ship them out like this. These are the jars that I use, the glass jars. This is a four ounce jar. And of course, you'll have a nice label on top. And these are the flowers. I'm sure you can see. And these are my testing copies. I love when I create things like this because I get to use them. These are made to order. So when you order yours, I make yours right then and there so it can be nice and fresh. And the 
last thing I want to share is my body scrub. Lavender and eucalyptus body scrub. Reformulated to make it more, um, to add more oil and more honey. Okay, so it looks like a nice honeycomb. See that? So it's organic cane sugar, and this is honey and oil that's settled at the bottom. I'll just shake it up. This is lavender and eucalyptus. That's how it looks. And again, this is mine, so I get to use it. <laughs> so it's organic cane sugar, my own eucalyptus infused sunflower oil, all organic. A raw, unfiltered honey. Okay, and organic cane sugar. That's all it is. And when you order this, you also get it inside of these reusable glass ball jars. These jars are a really good deal, and they are better than plastic. They will preserve the scent of your essential oil. But since it's a clear jar, you would have to keep it in a dark but cool place. You don't want any sun or light hitting your products that have oils in them. So if nobody's told you that, I told you that, all right? Especially if your product is in a plastic container, put it in a dark, cool place because the, the toxins from the plastic uh, can erode from the essential oil, okay? That's how powerful essential oils are. So do not use essential oils on your skin unless it has been diluted with a carrier oil, like coconut oil, jojoba oil, my oil of choice is sunflower oil because it's great for all skin types and it's anti-aging and uh, anti-inflammatory, okay? Good for oily skin and dry skin. This is why I use sunflower oil. All right, so brief recap, healing bath. This has everything, rosemary, lavender, rose petals, peppermint, and cinnamon. It smells fantastic. My husband loves the way that this way makes the bathroom smell while I'm taking this bath. Then you have bath salt, lavender and eucalyptus bath salt. And lavender or just eucalyptus, uh, eucalyptus uh, body scrub, eucalyptus and honey. Body scrubs. Right. So, just wanted to show you new products that were coming to my Etsy shop. If you would like to order now, just message me and I'll make your order as soon as I get your uh, your message or your payment. All right. If you have any questions about um, essential oils or creating your own products. Uh, I create products with not only self-care in mind, but also spiritual purposes. I don't just put anything on my body. I am intentional with the ingredients that I use to help put me in a better mental space. All right. Bye.